Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Minibytes. I'm your friend Amudal Shaktivel and in this video, we're going to see how we can avoid using explicit weight. Hey Amudal, are you mentioning this correctly? Why do you want to avoid explicit weight? Uh, I think this is, should be your question, right? So uh, people normally avoid implicit weights uh, because they are not, they are terrible. Again, everyone knows what is the problem with implicit weights. So we have been using explicit weight for a very long time. And APM 2.0 have come up with a very good thing called as plugin. And using that, you don't have to write code. Basically, the APM has two important components. One is client and the other one is server. So previously, we used to write code to, to wait for an element to become intractable. But now what they did was they are handling the weights at the server side. So all you have to do is install a plugin and use that plugin into the APM server. So it automatically waits for your element to become visible, to become intractable before it tries to do something with the element. So this is cool, right? So instead of you writing the code, APM does all the hard work, which is pretty cool. And how to do that? And that's what we're going to see. And if you notice, the reason I have used a lot of weights last time is because just to explain this particular plugin, so thread.sleep is pretty bad, terrible option. This is good, but again, see the readability of the code. It's again noisy. And then you also have to, you know, you have to wait. There are a lot of combinations. Let's say you want to wait for visibility. You want to wait for clickability. Uh, there are a lot of stuff that you want to do for it. So, so instead of all that stuff, what I'm going to do is if you, if you basically take a look at the APM page, I'm not going to reinvent any of the stuff. This is where I'm reading everything. So you want to install any plugins, you write this command, right? So, so let me go here. Uh, in my case, I have already uh, plugins installed. Uh, so what I have to do is uh, APM plugin uh, list hyphen hyphen installed, which basically gives me all the plugins that I have installed. So I have device, device form, element weight, and APM dashboard. In my case, element weight is the one that I want to uh, use it for. In your case, if you don't have it installed, all you have to do is APM in plugin install. So you can see the command here, APM plugin install, and you, you just mention element uh, hyphen weight at the rate 1.2.0, or you can leave this uh, like this, so it, it actually downloads the latest version for you. Since I have already installed, I don't want to do anything. I just want to start the APM server, but while starting the APM server, I have to mention, please start with using this particular plugin that is this plugin i have three of them installed but i want to only use this so the drivers will automatically kick in but if you want to use plugin you have to explicitly mention them so what i'm doing is apm and then apm server use this plugin uh, you can also skip the server part um, apm hyphen hyphen use uh, hyphen plugin and in my case i just have only one plugin so element uh, hyphen weight and then at the rate 1.2.0. So that should be enough. So now if you see the APM logs uh, here, so it says non-default server args. So this is not a default argument for starting the APM server because we are trying to use an extra plugin. Uh, you know, it's indicated very clearly here, right? So there are three plugins, uh, available drivers are two, which is already in use. So all good. That's it. So we are now ready to run our test, but this time you don't need all these stuff. So let me put this into comment, um, you know, so you don't need any of the stuff, both in Android, both in iOS, you don't have to enter any of these stuff. Let's open the uh, emulator and then see. So where is this emulator? Yeah. So no, no explicit weights, no implicit weights. You don't have to handle weights. Everything will be taken care of by the APM. Right, I didn't do anything. Everything is already handled. You could also run the iOS test. It will still work. I'll see you guys in another great video. Uh, until then, you keep exploring about more plugins. You can find more details about all these plugins in the APM uh, documentation. Please have a really good read about it and try to leverage as much as possible. Only one of the important criteria that you have to uh, keep in mind is if you are trying to run your uh, test, mobile test in uh, cloud forms like Browser stack, Lambda test. You need to check with the team. Uh, you need to ask them to specifically install this plugin. 
so that you can make use of it yeah so yeah that's all about this video i'll see you guys in another great video until that but bye bye